Welcome to the module on uh, flexible payments. In this module, we will uh, talk about Atterberg's limit. In Atterberg's limit, uh, we uh, will be detailing about uh, the liquid limit and uh, the plastic limit uh, of uh, soil to be used uh, in the construction of uh, flexible payments. As you see, the construction of uh, flexible payment, the cross-section of the flexible payments consists of uh, subgrade, subbase, road base, and uh, the surface layers. Below the subgrade, you will have the embankment, and uh, under each section of uh, the cross-sections of uh, the flexible payments, uh, Atterberg's limit plays a very important role as the suitability of the material is more or less depends on the values of the Atterberg's limits, that is liquid limit and plastic limit of particular soils. Liquid limit is tested as per IS 2720 part 5. Liquid limit is the moisture content that defines where the soil changes from a plastic to a viscous fluid state. The water content at which a soil changes from a plastic consistency to a liquid consistency is generally termed as liquid limit of that particular soil. This test is defined by the laboratory concept test concept developed by Atterbergs in the year 1911. As you see, to conduct uh, this uh, test using a Cassegrain's method, you require the following tools, that is grooving tools, spatula, moisture cans, soil specimen on a porcelain dish, and then the liquid limit device. The soil specimen uh, is basically a 425 micron passing sieve soil is taken for conducting the test. The paste is prepared using uh, the soil and water mix and is placed in the brass ball of the liquid limit device as shown in the figure. Casagrande subsequently standardized the apparatus and the procedures to make the measurements more repeatable. Liquid limit is arbitrary, arbitrarily defined as the water content in percent at which a part of a soil in a standard cup and cut by a standard groove of standard dimensions will flow together at the base of the groove for a distance of 13 millimeters under the impact of 25 blows in the device. The cup being dropped 10 millimeters in a standard liquid uh, limit apparatus operated at a rate of two strokes per second. So after repeating uh, the number of drops, the cut soil is getting closer and merged to a length of 13 millimeters as shown in the figure D of Casagrande's apparatus. Then the soil sample is tested for the moisture content of the soil. So in this way, you know that the number of drops required to close the gap to a length of 13 millimeters and the corresponding moisture content of that particular soil. Soil is placed into the metal cup portions of the device and the groove is made down at its center with a standardized tool of 13 millimeters. The cup is repeatedly dropped 10 millimeters on to a hard rubber base at a rate of 120 blows per minute or two blows per second, during which the groove closes up gradually as the result of impact. The number of blows for the groove to close is recorded. The moisture content at which it takes 25 drops of the cup to cause the groove to close over a distance of 13 millimeters is defined as the liquid limit of that particular soil. The test is normally run at several moisture contents and the moisture content which requires 25 blows to close the groove is interpolated from the test results. A graph is plotted uh, by taking a moisture content in the, the y direction and the number of blows in the x direction and corresponding to 25 
number of blows the corresponding uh, moisture content uh, is interpolated using the graph so the format generally used to conduct or record the results of the liquid limit, liquid limit test are shown in the diagram you need to have the details of the soil samples which needs to be tested then the number of blows are recorded the container number and the soil sample initial weight and dry weight to understand the moisture content of the soil so this format will give you two things one is number of blows and the corresponding moisture content to close the groove by 13 mm then a graph is plotted using the number of blows in the x direction and the moisture content in the y direction so you have different uh, number of blows uh, ranging from 15 to 30 numbers so that by for a 25 blows what will be the corresponding uh, moisture content can be easily determined similarly plastic limit is being tested as per is 2720 part 5 the plastic limit is defined as the moisture content where the thread breaks apart at a diameter of 3 mm a soil is considered non plastic if a thread cannot be rolled out down to 3 mm at any moisture content generally sandy soil is considered to be a non plastic soil or when the sand content is more in a particular type of soil then the rolling of uh, that particular soil is difficult and uh, it's turned out to be non plastic in nature the plastic limit is determined by rolling out a thread of a fine portion of the soil on a flat non porous surface if the soil is plastic uh, this thread will retain its shape down to a very narrow diameter the sample can then be remolded and the test can be repeated the apparatus uh, required to conduct the plastic limit test are soil specimens on a porcelain dish moisture cans glass plate and a spatula you need to take the sample add the moisture content and roll it in an ellipsoidal soil mass to make it further roll with your fingers the soil sample shall be mixed thoroughly with distilled water in an evaporating dish or on a flat glass plate till the soil mass becomes plastic enough to be easily molded with fingers the sample of uh, soil generally taken generally taken for test is 8 grams the rate of rolling shall be between 80 to 90 strokes per minute counting a stroke as one complete motion of hand forward and backward to the starting positions again the rolling shall be done till the threads are of 3 mm in diameter as shown in the photo the soil shall then be kneaded together to a uniform mass and rolled again this process of alternate rolling and kneading shall be continued until the thread crumbles under the pressure required for rolling and the soil can no longer be rolled into a thread the crumbling may occur when the thread has a diameter greater than 3 mm the plastic limit shall be determined for at least three portions of a soil passing 425 micron is sieves the average of the results calculated to the nearest whole numbers shall be reported as the plastic limit of that particular soil the format generally used to tabulate the results of conducting the plastic limit test are shown in the photograph generally you note down the container numbers the weight of the empty containers in terms of w1 weight of container plus wet soil and weight of container plus dry soil can be recorded as w2 and w3 so weight of moisture you will get w2 minus w3 and weight of dry soil will be w3 minus w1 so in this respect uh, you are able to determine what is the moisture content of that particular soil using the table summary of this module is uh, we talked about uh, the definitions of uh, liquid limit and plastic limit how the liquid limit test is being conducted what are the procedures to do the liquid limit or the plastic limit test controls required uh, during uh, the test 
apparatus required to conduct the liquid limit and the plastic limit test. In the next module, uh, we will be covering the GSA, which is generally we call it as grain size analysis. Grain size analysis gives you the fraction of the soils under different envelopes of or uh, different sizes of particles. So till then, thank you very much.